good morning all we will be today will be demonstrating the level of protection which is required while we are taking care of patients this video is specially made for sarvodaya hospital staff so we have uh, geared three level of protection level 1 level 2 and level 3 and this is about the corona care unit so uh, this is the isolation ward which we have made as you can see it says isolation and entry restricted so first we'll start with the hand hygiene so our staff will first perform the all the steps of hand hygiene so then we enter inside so we have one doffing donning and donning and doffing area so you go to the donning area the linen room has been converted into the donning area so once you are inside first of all we'll start with the level 1 so you start by wearing your so you start uh, so you start by wearing your gown so there are two type of gowns which are available so this is one cotton uh, gown which is uh, used or else you can use this blue gown surgical gown which is also available with us either of them you can don clean gowns you don't need actually sterile ones you just need clean ones after gown you need to put your surgical mask so this is level 1 this level 1 is basically when you are coming for your rounds and you are taking your in the clinical area seeing the patients so we even need to cover our eyes here so either you can use goggles or you can use a face shield Uh, i would recommend to use a face shield because face shield is much easier and you are protecting your eyes also these are the face shields which is available in our hospital so you can use this face shield and he is already wearing shoe covers so you have to wear the shoe covers also and then he will perform hand hygiene and wear the gloves so perform hand hygiene and wear your gloves so that's the last step so this is the final uh, protection level 1 so now we'll move ahead on to the level 2 protection level 2 protection is uh, required when you are working in the intensive care unit or if you are in the quarantine place when you are at the flu corner so moving ahead so starting with level 2 first you have to don a impervious layer on top of the gown this is the third layer which has to be discarded after the use either we can use these or we have got other uh, impervious gowns also which can be used here i would recommend this because it is very easy to move around along you know around in the ward and working because we don't want it to get much heavy so proceeding ahead now you have to use n95 mask because you are in a high uh, alert area a intensive care unit or in the quarantine place then coming to the eye protection you have to wear the goggles also goggles and this has to be after the goggles it has to be followed by a face shield if you want you can use a surgical cap otherwise if you are comfortable with it it's not like must for it and then you have to do the hand hygiene followed by donning of gloves so now you are ready for level 2 level 2 is for intensive care unit and when you are sitting in the flu corner quarantining the patients So now we'll move ahead with the level three. So level three is the utmost protection, and it is the time when you are doing aerosol generating procedures. So he will be augmenting this with one uh, impervious gown. So level three, after you have donned the plastic sheet and you have donned the full sleeve gown and the shoe covers, you will start wearing the cap. So in this, you have to take care the skin is not visible. After on top of this, you will use the balaclava or the visor as it is known as. So this we have made in house. so the basic purpose is your skin should not be visible after the balaclava or the visor you have to put the n95 mask and the goggles both of them now level 3 has to be augmented with a third layer of a impervious gown so make sure this is a impervious gown so we have two or three type variety available with us so as and when the need arises we will be going to different kinds because one single particular kind is not available so we have like mixed but we have a impervious gown and this top layer has to be discarded in the end so after the gown you have to wear the face shield followed by hand hygiene and one more level of layer of uh, gloves so basically here you need two layer of gloves so this is level 3 level 3 is only required when you are going in like uh, aerosol generating procedures like intubation bronchoscopy or cpr so this is the uh, final look so this is the final look of level 
so now we have seen all the three levels level one level two and level three i hope this is now the it is clear to all of us which has to be what you have to don at what time thank you